na 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 I love that song. Hello and welcome to Three Guys One Cup. I'm Dave Mankoff. I'm Brett Kaminsky. Hello. The song is badass. It's Voodoo by Papa Legal, who apparently went out, fell off the face of the earth in January. They tweeted twice in 2012 and then once in January of 13. And, and they've then never ever since. And they have a lot of songs on SoundCloud. You can go to their SoundCloud.com slash Papa Legal and see all their shit. They got a lot of songs, actually. They're really yeah, good. Yeah. They're pretty decent guys, so... What the fuck happened to him? How y'all doing? Awesome. Good. No right. train accidents today. Yeah, That's we good. started early That's for it's once. Tuesday, not Thursday. True. We are two Very two true. minutes early, 20 minutes early, unusual for 19. us to go. We uh, came early for once. Giggity. Yeah. I mean, I usually do, but uh, as always, you can go visit uh, the awesome On It guys at uh, Geekify.tv. Click on our banner for On It. Buy their awesome products. We've talked at length about them. Um, they're Clubs, all badass. Maces, I'm loving. Balls. Yes, they got new shit now. Steel Bell. Andrew, yeah, talk about that. Fucking awesome. There, it's uh, like a kettlebell, but minus the handle and minus all the metal, it's a sack of sand, if you will. Uh, it comes at 25 pounds or 50 pounds. Uh, it's a little pricey, but it's durable as fuck. I've been using it to work out uh, every other. Uh, Every other night, for the most part, and it fucking kicks my ass. <laughs> yeah, it's we you had it here last week. We for some reason didn't talk about it, but it is really no, fucking cool. We did talk about yeah, the steel bell. Oh shit, it's we really didn't nice. Talk about it much, though. Yeah, we, we did though. It's a heavy fucking workout. Um, it is. I definitely want to pick one yeah, up. Yeah, we did it for five minutes after the show, and I was I was feeling pretty good afterwards. Yeah, you were winded. It was yeah. nice. Um, so yeah, go visit that shit. Good stuff. Buy all their stuff. They're amazing. We use them all. I was asked by a couple people this past week. Like, do you actually use the products? Do you talk about them? You promote them so much? And then they came over and they saw all the shit that I have in my room and all this <laughs> stuff. And I'm like, I actually take everything I talk about. Yeah. I w- w- like like other people in the world, I would not promote it if I didn't really like it. Yeah, unless you know? we like it, we ain't talking about it. Exactly. Uh, Shrimp tech sport. Yes. Great before workouts. Pop really 40, good. 45 minutes before and pop a, pop a few. They say one, one tablet per every 50 pounds. So if you're 150 pounds, pop three. I you, do, you can take less if you want. I usually do four between uh, if I'm doing a heavy, heavy workout. What's what exactly does Shroom Tech Sport do? So Shroom Tech Sport is a it's two things. It has caffeine in it. It also has a couple of B vitamins, but it also has a cordyceps mushroom, which was found back in the day with with cattle would eat this this mushroom and they would be like all peppy. Which I don't know how the fuck you find out cattle's peppy, but mm-hmm. it would be, and so they started to harvest this cordyceps mushroom and take it, and they realized that it increases your oxygen level in your blood a little bit like it, it just enhances the way oxygen is reacts with your hemoglobin uh-huh. so that you you don't necessarily carry more oxygen but you have a better way Process of it. using and processing oxygen yeah so that's why it can push you a little further in your workout i like it a lot i use that before i work I out like it a lot stuff. Um, yeah, it's definitely good uh new mood it's uh it's hard to describe how do i stop this oh uh, you just exit out the browser no i got so much stuff opened uh, so yeah, Shroom Tech Sports awesome. I do want to talk about this too tonight. This I just discovered this today. This uh, penis? Zola coconut water. I used to oh. be in love with C two O coconut water, mm-hmm. but really fucking hard to get a hold of. I still have not gotten my three cases from Whole Foods. It's been four weeks. Holy shit! So maybe you should uh, blog about it on MySpace. I should blog about the shit on MySpace. So I'm saying fuck that. Um, and they had this uh, at my place of work. Uh, so I got a shitload of cans of it. So <laughs> it was laying in the corner. Pretty much. This stuff is good. It tastes just like C2O, and it maybe be a little sweeter, and there's not uh, too many sugars and stuff in it, so I recommend it for coconut water. I don't like coconuts. Really? I didn't know that. No. Not Do you like coconut, coconut water? Nope. Do you like to use them as uh, horse hooves? That's the only only way you'll ever catch me using coconuts. Or really? What I'm about surprised a, by that. Coconuts are really bra. good for you. What about you, a bikini top? Or that. I My personal <laughs> use <laughs> would, be, top. would be for... Uh, that's the best part of uh, the how oh, the, how I met your mother. My uh, on the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail, uh, the special edition one. They released a special like disc for it, and one of the special features was how to make. Um, yes, the, they did have how that. to pop, properly dry them and everything, so you can make the clapping noise. So it sounds like hooves. Very badass of them to do. I like that a lot. So what's going on in this world today? Oh, 
sad news since we talked last. Blackhawks lost. You, you, oh, I, I, I was like, you, I thought you lost. I'm like, penis. did somebody <laughs> die? <laughs> Pretty much. You got a new flashlight. You had to throw it out already. Right, right just, away. I got it. I got news. it, and it was used. And I was like, what the fuck? And they I didn't clean it. it. No, they didn't clean it from the. It was <laughs> from the used. You know. Well, they got to test it before they send it out. Make sure it works. They do a couple times. So Blackhawks have lost two games in a row. Um, you know, I, I was sad, but also like, well, they did win the previous, you know, twenty some odd games before that. So. You know, because I, I saw a lot of people tweeting online like, yo, Blackhawks suck, Blackhawks suck. And you're like, dude, they won so many games. Go fuck Oh, they're them. on the cover of Sports Illustrated. The, are they really? I didn't know that. That's yeah, awesome. The one that comes out on the 18th. Wow, good for them. It says it's the team that saved us, or it's the franchise that saved a league. Yeah, I agree. Like that. They're doing so amazing. They got it's so okay. much. They're still six points ahead of Anaheim. They are. And, and they um, lost. We went to the game on Sunday. Sunday. And they did lose a spectacular game, though. We didn't even talk about that with you, Brett. No. Oh yeah, it was, I was yeah. watching it. It was so. After the first period, it was four nothing Edmonton. Then uh, after the second, what was it? Six to four. Yeah. And then final score was six to five, but Edmonton. Yeah, they had they had a great comeback. Dude, it was so loud in the United Center. Mm-hmm. So I've never seen it that loud. I was driving back from the Wolves have... game at the time, and I was just like sitting in the car, go, okay, one goal, all right, fine. Two goals. Seriously, three goals. Crawford's pulled. Yeah. All right. Emery. Emery's in. Emery. No, Emery got Emery. Oh, Emery's Emery pulled. In first. Crawford Crawford's got pulled. In, yeah. Put in. Yeah, and then they're just like, oh, okay, Crawford's in. Goal again. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah, it was. It was a rough first period. Another thing we have to talk oh, about yeah. with hockey is the, the realignment of the divisions. Yeah, yeah. the Players um, Association approved. It's It's been approved. Uh, Detroit's going to the Eastern Conference, sadly, but you know what that means. I can see it in the near future. And by near future, I mean a couple of years because Detroit sucks. Uh, Detroit, Blackhawks, Stanley Cup final. That would right be there. epic. Boom diggity. I'm going to put on the feed right now in case people want to see if they're watching the uh, changes to the conferences. Um, yeah, that, that's very cool. And that's the positive spin Andrew brought because they are pulling out Detroit, who was our one of our rivals. Um, a rivalry, I think, that uh, kind of died a little bit mm-hmm. in the last couple of years. It has because S- still the- there. It it is, but um, it it's hard to describe what I'm thinking. I don't know. With, just kind of well, with, there. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, Detroit, because yeah, Detroit's a bitch of a team to play and everything. But we've had more trouble with Vancouver in the last five years over Detroit. True. Where we see we saw Detroit for so many times. It it lost its luster. Uh, yeah. I mean, I think the last great game between the Hawks and Detroit was the Winter Classic a few years ago. Yeah, that oh, was yeah, that was epic. an exciting game. Um, and it, it does lead new possibilities to have St. Louis, you know, we have a rivalry with the Blues, mm-hmm. to have that be like, you know, come together a little bit more. It's going to kill It's going to kill a little bit the Vancouver uh, rivalry, but, you know, we'll play, face them once or so and mm-hmm. see what happens with that at least. Well, the good thing with Detroit is that – they won't be playing on the West Coast. They're in the Eastern Time Zone. Yeah. They won't yeah, have those West Coast games to where a kid has – it's a school night. We did talk about this before. I remember you saying he that. He has to be in bed, and the game starts at 11 o'clock. Well, isn't – For sure. Isn't Nashville Eastern Time? No. Yeah, yes. No, I don't know. They're going to be with us now, Nashville. Yeah, I'm now. saying if they're Eastern Time, though, yeah. they're going to run into the same problem that – Yeah, they're going to be the better Red with Wings us. Had. No, isn't Nashville more west? I don't know. I, 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 so I, I, I got this. I got this shit. Um, so, yeah, it's exciting to see that they're, they're realigning it and it was approved and everything like that. Central. Yeah. They are central time. Um, Which, that is a fucking crazy way of having a time zone. Because mm-hmm. Columbus is eastern. Right, yeah. That is fucked up. Yeah, I don't understand that Indiana, at all. Indi- Wait, how Careful. the fuck does that work? Because Indianapolis is eastern. Uh, in, but Indianapolis, some parts don't recognize daylight savings times. So some parts, yeah, true. some parts are different hours when you travel because they're fucked up in Indianapolis. I said Indianapolis, not Indiana. The, and everybody's fucked up in Indianapolis. Yeah, that is a fucking weird, weird border. I'm sending well, you the the map. Dude. I know that okay. like the the northern part by Chicago, it's Central Time because. A lot of those people people commute. commute to Chicago to work mm-hmm. or Illinois to work, so it, it makes sense there. It's really, really stupid. But it, 
like the time zones right around Lafayette. Well, for example, Phoenix or Arizona decides to be special. If you follow, if you're looking at the map with us, yeah, they are. Arizona special. has their own time zone, except for one part, and then there's a center in the part that's part of <laughs> Mountain <laughs> Mountain Daylight Time, that's also Mountain Standard Time. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with Arizona? People Look at that are shit. Stupid. Mountain Standard Time, and then it's MDT, which is yeah, Mountain Daylight Time. That's hysterical. That is ridiculous. There's two time zones in one state, and it's not even even lines. No, it's and then there's like a little center part. That's what the fuck, yeah. Arizona. Get your shit together. It's like a time zone with a time zone within a time zone. Seriously, it's fucking crazy. That that's ridiculous. I don't know. Time zones are stupid to me sometimes. Like that. Yeah. I understand them in theory to make everybody have you know blah blah blah, but fuck that shit. You're just blah, blah 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 blah. Exactly. Blah 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 blah. blah. Um. So that's that's kind of going on with hockey. What else? What else you guys got going on over there? I don't know. I'm sick of coming up with ideas. You talk about it. Fuck uh, you. <laughs> Benzing's on crack. <laughs> I didn't know the. I thought Iowa was more of a uh, crack uh, corn. Jimmy uh, crack corn. Uh, I was gonna and say I, I thought care. Iowa was more of a meth place. <laughs> It is kind of like uh, um, how the Chicago suburbs are mostly uh, crystal. They uh, are, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah that's definitely uh, true. It was uh, very lackluster, boys. What do we got going on now? You come up with something. You just talked. Yeah, I'm going, got, to, going to the Wolves game on Sunday. After a good show, motherfuckers. It was a good game on, on Sunday against yeah, the Ice Hawks. I, I get to see the Wolves take on the Junior Hawks. Yeah, I did too. They played them Sunday. And they play them again. Yeah, no. Which they lost it was funny because I was as we were sitting there and like the Hawks came out with a lackluster effort in the first period. I go, oh, why don't they just call up the Ice Hawks? They're not that far away. <laughs> exactly. They could be here by, by the time the second period starts. And this is like right before the first intermission. Yeah. And everyone's around like seriously. Uh, do you have a funny story about the game we went to? The uh, our buddy that was with us uh, had an interesting, interesting <laughs> thing happen to him. <laughs> well, else? well, first it starts to where they're. Him and like the girl next to him were talking, and then she leaves and comes back with nachos, and she just starts giving him nachos. And it, I look over, I'm like, "What the fuck?" And he just goes, "I don't know, man. She's giving me nachos." <laughs> She's I'm trying to fatten him up. He's a skinny little guy. <laughs> yeah, and he's so, very tiny. Who is this? It's uh, we'll tell you off air. Yeah, yeah. and uh, doesn't like to be mentioned uh, on the on the no, interwebs. We, pro- we say his first name, Rob. Yeah, it's Rob. And uh, shout out to Rob. He's really cool. He's gonna be on the show at some point. Yeah, too. Uh, definitely. And so, like, that happens, and he's like, I don't know what's going on. So then they start talking, and he finds out that she's there with her boyfriend's friend up in the 300s, while her boyfriend's sitting on the glass with his wife. Wait. <laughs> she tells him this. She goes, yeah, she my boyfriend's him. here on the, fr- the glass with his wife. That's awkward as and then shit. This is, she goes, this is my other boyfriend who I met Sunday, and this was Sunday, and we were like, this Sunday or the Sunday previous, you slut. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. And then the crux of this is she asks him, you know, like if they if they score, is it cool if we make out? No, no, no. It was if we come on the kiss cam, will you make out with me? And he's like, yeah, whatever. And uh, like she she had to be like mid forties unless if she, she was a so, cougar, unless fucking cougar she, in heat. She might have <laughs> aged horribly though. Like no, I'm she she was definitely in her late thirties, early forties for sure. I'm saying mid forties. She wasn't hot though. No, smoking hot. Oh. Very very pretty. She had no ass though. It was like an old man's ass. Just just it just yeah, went down. But but it, uh, crazy. No, because no, he said that she said that no, no, uh, to make out too. Well, that was hey. The next time, if we sit next to each other, you want to just make out. Oh, okay. that, that's that where that good. came in. Oh, good lord. As she was like walking away. Fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> like how wild is that? And he was just like, um, no. Thanks. And then she asked him to go to a ball with him. Yeah, and he's like, I got two balls here for you, bitch. No, he didn't say that. Let's go meet up in the stall. And yeah, you don't want to mess with a woman like that. She's got, yeah. and then like she's my favorite, AIDS. her vagina has claws. <laughs> seriously, she's saying this, and she's got like a dude with her who like who Rob said that kept looking at him like, what the fuck? And he, the guy kept asking, oh, is she bothering you? Yeah, like and that. Like, no. Wait, who said that? Her the guy, second boyfriend that was oh with her. God, no, that, that was the he. She just met that guy on. The Sunday previous, so what a ballsy guy though. I'm gonna be on the glass with my wife, and I'm gonna put you up in the 300s, and we'll meet with, up with a friend. With a yeah. friend, yeah, pretty fucking insane, dude. That's a ballsy fucking dude, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah. How fucking dumb is his wife? <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I thought that was crazy. I was like, I uh, I was very happy that Rob was like, get the fuck away. Like, I don't want to deal with any of that shit, you know? Really fucking funny, though. Crazy that that happened. Um, she was really drunk. Oh, like, really? Oh, she was fucking plastered. Really drunk. <laughs> so, that's always fun. Um, what else we got going on? I got I got nothing. So you got you better bring bring the content, um, dude. I farted. Good, love, lovely. People love that on on mics. Speaking of that, I'm gonna break our moratorium for a brief second because I want to mention another podcast. Honey Boo Boo. No, fuck you. Octomom. No, ten minute podcast. Uh, you, you guys, you're fired. Seriously, I just said I was gonna break the rule. That's I'm, it. I just warned we're you. We're shutting this show down. <laughs> I'll All right, we'll be mice. back after Dave gets a severe <laughs> beating with a kettlebell. I have to, hey, you want me to bring content? I got content, and that is podcast because that's what I listen to. Ten minute podcast with Will Sasso. Oh, Will, Will Sassy phrase? My God, we have to fucking. When we are done, I am showing you his vine, and you're gonna laugh. I don't want to. I don't want to see his vine. You told me it was <laughs> massive. And it I'll was, take your word for his it. His vine is so big. Is it? Is it like an elephant? Your face no, just can't bigger. take it. You just a, can't. A whale. His oil of a tail. If you guys are sitting there at home and bored, go to Will Sasso's Twitter, go to his Vine, and watch all of them in order. Oh my God, this is the funniest six seconds of every Vine. He's so ridiculously funny. He finishes funny. quick. He does finish. It's, it's Vine. If you guys don't know what Vine is, it's kind of like a moving GIFs with sound for six seconds. It's really cool, actually. I like Vine a lot for my ADDness. Um, 10 minute podcast, though. Check it out. Will Sasso, Brian Callen, and Chris Delaney from Whitney. It's really funny. It's 10 minutes, fucking 10 minutes every show. They have like over 100 of them right now. And I listened to all of them in the last seven days. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. It's really not that much time, though. No, it's not. It's Yeah, it's really not. It's not bad. Um, Really fucking crazy because it's they do skits, but they're so fucking... F- you got to listen to it. That's all I'm going to say. Just fucking listen to it. Fuck yourself. What are you listening to this shit for? No, finish this podcast and then go listen to one of their shows. And then bitches. go watch some porn and then go watch Will Sasso. Right. Which is basically porn. Yeah. Because he's six foot five, two hundred and sixty pounds, and ten percent body fat or eight percent body fat. He's a monster. Yikes. Sounds like Sasquatch. That's a big man. Um Is he the missing link? He pretty much. He's a very large boy. Uh what else you got, Dave? Well, since you are gonna on the fly change the what the fuck moment, I bring up this this other story I'm, that I'm 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 on the. We're fly not getting to that already, are we? No, 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 no. Uh, no. Uh, we uh, uh, seventeen minutes in, and we're like, all right, folks. <laughs> Peace. Which which story can we talk about then? I don't know. You want to talk? You want to talk about some marine mammals? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna read this headline. Dave was in the bathtub and he got mistaken for uh for a whale, and I was, I was like, gonna, I'm trying to evolve. I was gonna say, <laughs> that <is> so awesome. <laughs> Trying to evolve. Uh, so the headline reads, Dolphins armed with guns and knives allegedly escape into the wild. Uh, Which I it feel like is pretty much what the fuck moment enough. But I, I trumped that one. I should probably put this on the screen. Even though I'm, I trumped it because of location. I agree with that. that that's how it got trumped. Uh, so these, there are claims circulating that three dolphins have escaped from a Ukrainian military training facility. Armed cranes. with head-mounted guns and knives and trained to attack humans. Sharks with freaking laser beams. Now, my favorite is the Ukrainian government, of course, denies it, saying it's fabrication and a gross provocation, which immediately made me be like, well, this is a fake story. But if you look more into it, it's apparently not. This is on a, this is on Yahoo.com. Um, funny thing that the Russian soldiers are actually trained to combat dolphins. I think that's a little ridiculous. Well, if they dolphins get a, can if they be get a little frisky... Shits. Yeah, they, well, you gotta watch out. They get frisky. They do get a little frisky. So they, they like videos. to put everything in that blowhole. They do. So three fucking dolphins with guns and knives. On it's epic. The, and they know how to use them too. That's how do they, how do the fuck do they make them fire? That's what I want to know. That's wicked. They pull the trigger. That's crazy. Uh, other marine mammals like the Californian sea lion have also demonstrated the ability to mark and retrieve objects for the navy in the ocean. That's pretty sweet. That we're like, hey, go get that shit for us. We'll give you food. That's very cool, but kind of crazy. Um, I don't know if I believe it fully. I believe it. You believe everything, you freaking... <laughs> it's very plausible. If it's on the internet, it has to be true. Oh, you of can't course. tell lies on the internet. There's no fake stories on the internet. What did you send me? Damien was talking about this in the uh, in the chat with me. I mentioned that her vagina having teeth. Apparently, there's a movie called Teeth. Oh, yeah. It's, about oh, a girl yeah. who has teeth in her vagina when she... She discovers she has male male violence against her. 
just kind of playing this trailer. It's like two minutes. I was just more curious than anything. You've never seen that? It's on no. Netflix. Nom, nom. I've never heard of this movie. Her vagina has teeth and it bites people's dicks off. That is something is wrong with what Don is it? The, the Viet Cong? Is it weird that Back her last Vietnam? name sounds like Queef? It is very weird. Um, it's very it's yeah, it's a crazy movie. It's actually it's actually pretty bad, but yeah, it's it a looks, crazy concept. It looks terrible. Hey, yeah. Brett, Benzing just commented, if it's on the internet, it must be true. Yes, it is. It's funny because they make them sound regular. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, it's an independent Sundance film. That's why that guy's screaming because his dick is gone. Exactly. What um, happened? Terrible. This is you a great podcast, it guys. Yes, it, it's completely awful. I feel like we are Gonna low energy. Nine one one. We're yeah we <laughs> yeah well I don't want to go to bed if we were gonna go to bed let's yeah if we're gonna go to bed we're gonna call nine one one um we had this another story about this boy who calls nine one one to avoid going to bed which At is eight a, p.m. yeah runner up for what the fuck moment yeah it, it was definitely runner up I mean that's basically pretty much it he called nine one one and was like my the mom's making came, me go to bed and the cop came over and gave the kid a talking to no one got to take it or anything which the cops didn't kinda, come over which was yeah yeah they did no they didn't yeah an officer went by the boy's home. Explain to him when it's appropriate and when it's Oh, not afterwards, because the mom got on and was like, yeah, it's all cool, guys. There's no emergency. No one was charged, unfortunately. Which, that would have yeah. been funnier than shit if the kid got a ticket. You know what? I mean, I'm surprised he, he didn't. He should have. Good parents. for him for not. I mean, I guess that's pretty sweet. I would have given the kid a ticket. You fucking idiot. There's yeah. guys robbing a bank, and I have to come here and talk to your stupid ass because you won't go in bed. That's not a Massachusetts uh, accent. Uh, close enough. Yeah. It's Talk Canadian. like uh, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Wow. That's right. That's, That's right. From the 90s right there. Ted. That's all I have to say. Have you ever done it with a Boston girl? It's awful. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good movie. I like Ted. Yeah, it was awesome. I love that movie. I liked it a lot. Him at the Oscars was hysterical, too. With he got under Mark a lot Wahlberg. of flack, which pissed me off. Oh, Mark Wahlberg was at the Oscars? He was there with Ted. He presented an award. No shit. It was hysterical. How did they do that? I they like digitized him on the screen and stuff. Whoa, it was technology. really awesome. And he was like begging Mark to tell him where um the F, the post Oscars orgy was and he's like, There's no such thing. There's no such thing. He's like, Fine, it's at Nicholson's house. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Uh why are we so low energy today? What the fuck guys? What's wrong? Um I worked out yesterday and then I had to work today pretty much all day. I was actually busy at work today, so Me I didn't I wasn't too. able to read anything. I also had to run a bunch of different stores and waste two hours of my time doing shit. Um no wait, excuses wait. to be low energy though. Whoa, Pittsburgh came back big time. Yeah they did. Yeah they did. We're watching the Pittsburgh Boston game right now. Bastin. 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 Because hockey is fucking tits. I love hockey. And tits are good, so therefore hockey's good. <laughs> exactly. Just motorboat that shit. <laughs> do it. Do it. Like or don't do it, as the case may be. Jump on it. They're big enough, you might kill yourself. Like that one guy who suffocated. What? Okay. In, in, Wait, uh, we talked about this before. We did talk about that. The guy that suffocated in the woman's boobs. I have no to his girlfriends. They fucking confirmed it. Quicks and gold tonight. <laughs> we changed them out for you. Didn't we? No. no. Fuck you. We put no one cares about it. that. Sorry. We're, l- we're fucking just dying here. We got to have yeah. something. We got to have something entertaining for the people. Um, well, Martellus Bennett's coming to the Bears. Who's that? He's a tight end. <laughs> from uh, a tight end. From tight the New York here. Giants. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, they got him through free agency. What's football? Just, I was just, just today. S- is that little? Is that, that soccer game that kids play? Yeah. In other countries? Mm, countries. <laughs> See you uh, next Tuesdays. <laughs> Man, guys, what is wrong? What are you, the head con in charge? I don't even know. Dave, you're supposed to have stories for us. Come on. Come on. Tell us have... stories. Tell us stories. I can't tell any legal stories right now. I got nothing. Legal? I well, got nothing entertaining stories. that happened since Thursday. I know. Ex- um, I mean, I, I went see. on a date with a girl. Is oh, that yeah, let's talk about that. Yeah. It was, like... it was fun. Done. We're doing <laughs> <laughs> No, Which, it was really where, good. Where'd you go? Went to this restaurant in Chicago. Uh, called What's it, it called? Solo. Did you hit it? No. No, I, I did meant. Did you jump on did it? Did she have a black eye? I did, not, I did not punch her in the face. <laughs> I was like, woman, where's my sandwich? No. Did you jump on her back and say, carry me? <laughs> no, she has. I have to carry her. She's not like a, like a beast. I thought she's she was a, a woman. Pack mule. Uh, she's not a pack mule. Get in the trailer. Whoosh. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, on the first date, great idea to do. No, it's some uh, girls are into it. Some Scott, girls you, are. You don't know unless you try. I don't think this one's. I don't think this one's crazy <laughs> like that. Which is good. I don't want a crazy one. 
I want a normal girl. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, Sola was this restaurant that's this like um, hipster like uh, breakfast place. But uh-huh. Really good. I actually it was really good food. Good good amount. So now you're a hipster. No. Yeah. Sure. I'm gonna fucking. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, he's just he's angry. Like, I oh fucking God. hate you right I will now. Fucking oh. stab you with a toothbrush. I will you're... stab you with this bot this miniature bottle of Tabasco sauce. <laughs> See this? This is not for your guitar. It's for my dick. <laughs> I wouldn't touch that. You don't know where it's been. You win. Um. <laughs> See, the Tabasco sauce is safe because it would burn. Uh. No, that goes on my face. Yeah. And now it goes on his dick. <laughs> you all are gay. Man. Um. So it's... How, Dave, how do you use it? <laughs> There's too many for holes down there. What are you talking about? Wait, what do you do? What do you try to do? Just stick this in your ass and just spread? No, no. This goes it's in an your enema. keyhole, and you open. Oh, oh god! For shuttle docking. <laughs> you win. Thank you. <laughs> I can see to that image. Right. <laughs> it is I got mental gross. block. I got yeah. parental control. He does. Yeah. Brain. His brain shuts down, and it protects him from yeah. the wild like that. Yeah, it's awesome. I it is very you. nice. I, I trained myself after sixth grade. It was you trained. Should. You should. Miss Herman. Oh, Miss Herman. Bikini. Oh, oh. God damn it. I had a story to tell. <laughs> Brent's disgusted. He should be disgusted. I had a fucking story it's to tell. I can't man. remember it, though. <sighs> God damn it. It was really funny. Does it have funny. to do with uh, Japanese egg ice cream? That, that looks was like a condom. Awesome. No. That was awesome. And it looks like jizz when it comes erupting. Out I didn't even see definitely, the video. Definitely check that out, people. It's on YouTube. It's called uh, we liked it. Japanese it's on our Twitter egg feed. ice cream. Yes. It's on our, our the Japanese feed, has or, some. and it's on our Facebook too as well. Amazon or Facebook? We have an Amazon. It's on everything. Yes, actually, <laughs> we've got a store. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> we are a store. Your face is a store. And so check it out. They cut off the tip. Just the tip, and, and it, it goes blows. everywhere. And that's typical when you cut off it, the tip. It goes All on over uh, the, jeans, the keyboard, the jeans. The, the I got it. I'm not going to play panties. it though. I'm not going to play it because people just hear audio and get pissed. Pissed. Definitely awesome. Uh, have you guys ever seen American Psycho? Nope. Ugh. The fuck, Andrew? Have you seen American Psycho? I think I have. Oh, I probably have. With uh, Christian Bale. Yeah, Christian Bale. One of his greatest roles ever. I agree with Damien. We need more Octomom. This girl we, looks we like she has Octomom. Downs. No, she hasn't done anything stupid lately. Who the, who the has girl, Downs? The girl who did this Japanese condom ice Honey cream Boo-Boo? video. Oh. She looks like she has Down syndrome. Oh, okay. Maybe she does. Who? What do you know? No, look at look, look at this. She, she looks downsy. One eye is way bigger than the other. It's kind of creeping me out. Got to turn that off. I'm gonna have nightmares now. I'll give you nightmares. He's, he's just got spank bait. He, he no. put it in the spank bait. Spank no, he's gonna bake. I can't even talk. He's gonna You're masturbate done. to the capo being in his dick hole. That's what he's gonna do yeah, later. The what and the what now? The capo. That's what that thing's called. Oh yes, the hawks of uh, Monador came back to, for the hawks. I thought he was put already back down. Yeah, he's in the AHL, but he's, he's that, still playing. That thing's called the capo. Don't touch it! It's called the capo. It breaks in half. Um. That was in my <laughs> dick hole, so Did you enjoy. just look at... I, I was tried gonna, to. I was going to pinch my tongue with it. And decide. It would really hurt. Yeah, there's there's a big gap in there. You, you have a really big tongue, I guess. I don't know. That's what the ladies say. Gaper. He just sticks it's it on It's a gaping it. assistant. He sticks it on his clit. Exactly. <laughs> I would never do such a thing. He just walks around like, look at me, look at me. Look, Damien at me. says we need more Octomom. We know, Damien, we, we, we do need more Octomom. We, but we went two episodes stupid. without mentioning the Octomom. Andrew went two episodes. Yeah, I'm very surprised about that. Um, apparently, there's a rumor spreading that, well, we tried looking it up at work, that the Octomom looks like Kim Kardashian. Kind of. I don't see it. Kind of. They both are extremely slutty. Anybody see her preggers picture, pictures? No, they no. there's not, not that we should care. She Who had a black dress on, and I thought tradition. it was a, a black hole. I was like, gravity! <laughs> Is she already that big? She's huge. There you go. Octomom says that she could get stoned and take care of her kids. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Link, link me. She's uh she's the proud owner of medical marijuana card, and she was for anxiety. Why would I wonder why she would have anxiety? You know, she can't keep a house. Eight kids? No, no 13 14, kids. 14. 14 kids. Yeah. Eight at once. I still 
want to know what her vagina looks like. I don't. And she got the card two days after she was uh, leaving rehab for uh, Xanax addiction. Yeah, she did have that. So, yeah. <sighs> People on to, uh, prescription uh, drugs. Idiocracy right there. Yeah, right. So she's saying she can get high while she's pregnant? No, while well, she's taking care of her kids. Oh, um, speaking what? about using yeah. drugs while you're pregnant, did you guys hear about this uh, woman in, uh, I think, it was New York or Boston? It was Baston. Uh, Baston. I've been there before. Um, I've never been. Um, Good clam chowder. I bet. Um, this woman uh, was arrested for using crystal meth two days before she gave birth. And the that's a good mom right there. Oh, totally. Um, and the courts ruled that her arrest was illegal because there's no proof that the narcotics affected the baby, even though the tox screen Are came back serious? showing crystal meth in the baby system. They they would not file negl- uh, ne- child neglect or endangerment charges Whoa. because it wasn't technically a baby yet. Wait, how far along was it? Two days, Two days away before from it, giving it birth. Popped out. Oh my god, that's still that's a ba- that's a real baby right there. Yeah, that's a baby. Holy shit. Anything after go. the first trimester I consider a child. Do babies poop in the womb? Oh, I remember what story I was gonna tell. That reminded you? Yeah. <laughs> Pooping in the womb. Funny <laughs> this is awesome. Funny go. thing funny thing my technician said oh. uh, made me giggle like a schoolgirl like uh-huh. I usually do. Um We do two have bread? Two jokes actually. Oh, and a story. And a story. So she was going to the Holocaust Museum um, that's, I think, in Palatine or something. Was she, I don't know. Was she, such a happy place. Lineage? I love going there. Well, she was saying how she wanted to go with her other friend who blah, 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 couldn't go for very long. And she's like, I just want to enjoy the Holocaust Museum. I just wanted to re-enjoy the Holocaust. <laughs> and, and I was like, you want to you, you wanna, you wanna just go fucking enjoy the Holocaust, you know? And she was just like, you I go, didn't mean it like that. Did you go, as a Jew, I'm offended. Yeah, I'm like, half of me is offended. The other half is laughing uproariously because it's German. Well, then she comes in the other day and she was like, uh, she's like, I watched Schindler's List. And I was like, oh, did you enjoy it? Like the Holocaust Museum? <laughs> That's very funny. That's and then, Schindler's um, List is a fucking amazing movie. Never she made it. another really good joke, too. I was very proud that she made this joke to me because I died laughing. Um, On the inside or outside? Both. Nice. But I can't remember how it went. I just remember the punchline, which is an awful joke. Um, I got so much going on the computer here. What do you? Would you link me? Uh, something amazing from one of the Back to the Future movies. Oh my God, that is amazing. Disney presents Episode Seven Star that's, Wars. That's got to be fake. He yeah. really traveled. Yeah. That's, that's got to be that's fake. Fake. Fa- fake. That's fake. That's fake. It's got to be yeah. fake. I've Mark. never seen the second and third. I will bring stuff. this up in the feed, and uh, we'll let the Where, masses where's, decide. Where's Chris and Karen Bertram? All right. So those of you listening, it is from Back to the Future Two. I think. I, I don't remember. I don't know. I keep shaking. Two. He goes forward. So. It's um, and it yeah, says, he looks at a sign and it says, Disney presents Star Wars Episode 7, which is going to be a reality now, if you know, because Disney bought Star Wars. And, holy fuck, that's got to be fake. holy it's shit, fake. It is. Harrison Ford, Mark Hamill, and uh, Carrie Fisher have all they signed, signed on. on. Yeah. That's, Hell, as actually, long as she doesn't wear the gold bikini again, I'm totally okay with her being in the movie. <laughs> she can wear that bikini any day of her life. Yeah, she Have can. you seen her recently? Yes. Ew. <laughs> That's all there's, I have There's to nothing say makeup can't that. fix. Have you seen the porn stars without makeups? Look at look at porn stars without makeup. You like Google it. Yeah, I'm and, open and up be, a... with makeup and without makeup. Who cares? It's a world of difference. It is, but they're <laughs> fucking. They're Damn women. it! I said I want a glass of juice, not gas the Jews, <laughs> Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how appropriate that is. Okay, I'm googling this in a incognito tab. Why? Because this links to my work computer. <laughs> oh, well, you shouldn't do that shit. It's Go to uh, lots to of tube. <laughs> nope. Nope. Red tube. I got it bookmarked. You porn, X hamster. I can keep going. I'm sure you can. Red tube. <laughs> I said that already. Oh, did you? Yeah. Lemonparty.org. Those are my favorites. Meat spin. Those are some of the ones I cruise. Yeah, everybody check out meatspin.com right yeah. now. Count it's them. The if best. you count them, I give you a dollar. If you tell me what it goes up to, don't say it. Because we, we had a Canadian friend who did. Yeah. Crazy fucking Canadians. Meat spin's fascinating too because it just goes Ow. round and round. It's round. a great way to keep time. Gay. It is a great actually. <laughs> <laughs> you dick. <laughs> I am so low energy right now. What the fuck, guys? What is wrong? Um, Why are we tired? We need some pop. Alpha brain. I had a um, freaking amazing steak and egg dinner. 
And I don't think that, I think that just that yeah that, that, that would kill you yep, definitely. Why though? I don't have any cars or anything like Cause, that. Because uh, you didn't see any naked people on the highway. I did not. No. Ew, she's nasty without makeup. That's that is what nasty. I said. Nasty. Are you really looking up that shit? Yeah, it's a video on Huffington Post. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I hate Huffington Post with a passion. Yeah, they do some shit stupid like shit. But know who is really awesome? And I'm going to break our rule again. Who was on Pointless the other day? You can't. That's another Curious podcast, Brett. Yeah, she was awesome. I thought podcasts. that that was an awesome, awesome, awesome podcast. Which one? Carrie Santa, Santa Maria. Maria. Jinx Blow Jeff. Whoa, I don't know who that is. Google it. Really? Was it, was it really? 13 or 14? I haven't listened to those yet. 14. Is she smart? 13. And gorgeous. That's and when she was 16, women, she moved into a crack house. Can women be smart and gorgeous? Yes, yeah, 16 when 16. she moved into a crack house. Yes, yes, they can. Really? My girlfriend's a perfect example. Boom. Diggity. Is this is this still a joke part of the podcast? Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, that's fun. <laughs> funny. <laughs> Love you, Robin. She doesn't listen to the show anyway. <laughs> she does, actually. <laughs> no, she doesn't listen to the show. But She's she, feeding me poison tomorrow now. Yeah, yep. Yes, yeah, she is. She was like, well, I was going to feed you real food, but now here's some arsenic, you fat fuck. <laughs> you go have some visine. You could die on visine like the guy did to his girlfriend. Well, visine is if you take... Too much of it, you could die. Well, if you take it also by mouth, it's like... Diarrhea. You get diarrhea. No. Yes, but it also yes. is like... What is it? It's also like the date rape drugs. It'll yeah. it make you sleepy and knock you out. Yeah. And you could you could die from it. Guy did that to his girlfriend. Yeah, it can happen. She sometimes. did no. from visine. Yeah. yeah, interesting. How did you yep. not know that? I've never. What do you mean? How do you not know that? It's. I mean, it's not like it's like public. I mean, it is public knowledge, it is. but not really. No, it Nowadays is public, public knowledge. knowledge. My dick. In your Please mouth. Please no. <laughs> <laughs> In your face. In your face. Like In aliens, no face. one's ever seen it. Oh, oh I have. The Speaking. Movie? They're more Let's, of a bluish green. Can than we talk gray. a little bit about Doctor Greer? Yes, I want to. Okay. That's a fucking crazy person. I know you didn't listen to it, Andrew. Sorry. No. You gotta just It's like a three hour show. Definitely listen to it. It was a good show. It, it was, but okay, this guy, I don't I don't really think anything he says is true. He looks juiced out of his mind. By I didn't the way. see him, he I just listened to it. I looked him up. Bonkers. He's he's like Is he from Iowa? He's like Probably. stocky as shit. Um Okay, so this 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 Dr. Greer guy is this really he was this ER guy, this ER doctor, really prestigious who decided that aliens are real and there's a big cover-up so he quit doing the er work mm -hmm. and is now doing this full-time to yep. try to get the word out there that aliens exist they've got a documentary that comes out on April called 20th. serious yeah serious like the radio or the star yeah serious like the star coming out that has a lot of details on stuff being released from people in the know mm -hmm. ex-military ex-scientist ex-government I mean, the, the video that's on on YouTube about it with all these people standing up was very impactful. I thought because it's all people that were like high ranking military officials. Yeah. But not that that gives them any more credit than like any credit cool. worthiness or anything than anybody else. But in a war in a post world where we have, you know, ways to edit video and pictures and mm -hmm. audio so incredibly well. Fuck, we'd run this thing in a fly-by-night Exactly. Like, imagine if you really wanted to fuck with people, it'd be very easy. So that's why it's like, I don't, you know, and and, and um, first-person testimony is complete crap. Our eyewitness testimony. Eyewitness, yeah. Sorry, eyewitness testimony is completely crap because people misremember all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, 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 that that's thrown out the window in my <laughs> that's opinion. That's why we need Google Glass. Exactly. <laughs> but even that you could fake. Like, that's why it's and, and there are well, there have been some crazy shit that happens, and and there are some UFOs that are not alien that are UFOs because it's our military doing something, and they're just it's well, super secret. Well, you could secret. go back to um, unidentified flying like object, the is exactly. Apollo Equal missions. ET. But th that's one thing that Doctor Greer said that that he doesn't agree with. That he thinks that a UFO is an alien, and I was like, that's that that throws the definition of UFO out the window. Yeah, because yeah. all a UFO is. Object is, in the sky. I've seen planes that I didn't quite identify as a plane right mm -hmm. away. That's a UFO to me because yeah. I didn't know what the fuck it was. And then you see it's a plane, and you're like, I have identified it. Now it's an identified flying object. Mm -hmm. um, the thing that got me the last couple nights is because you know how the Pan Stars comment. Yes, I haven't it's seen gone it through. Yet. Oh, and like, I, like I get home and like it's pretty dark in the alleyway and stuff. So I'm looking, I'm looking up, and like off in the distance I see like a, a faint light, and then I'm like, I'm staring in. Next thing you know, it's starting to bleed. Son of a bitch! It's a fucking plane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so low to the horizon like you have yeah. to be like up high with a com complete open view of the horizon without any obstruction whatsoever to be able to see it here i was actually thinking just really climbing disappointing up on the roof. that'd be a good idea you should climb just jump off it too when you're done oh um, i'll jump onto a tree 
You should Jump on it. So, Dr. Greer is absolutely fucking insane. I don't agree with, like, half the stuff. He's, no. Most of it. Like, it's, it just... It's sensational. It's a nice conspiracy thing. Well, this is my, fa- my favorite part of when, of his interview was when he they were talking about conspiracy theories, and he's like, no, 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 I don't believe in any conspiracy theories. I don't like that word, blah, blah, blah. I don't believe in conspiracy theories, but... I make a All my stuff is conspiracy theories. But I believe that aliens exist, and the government is hiding it, and there's aliens everywhere. Like, that... And you're like, that's a conspiracy, son. Like, I lose I so many hours of sleep because of ancient aliens. Oh, I love exactly. ancient aliens. I'm so... Which, I'm so mad that the season's over already. A lot of it has been debunked. Like there's that there's that video that debunks a lot of the ancient alien stuff. That three minute video or whatever it is on YouTube. I'll have to find it. Uh, I have I not watched it yet either. A lot of that's been ancient aliens is on TV. TV is fact. Right. Internet, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're like fuck the internet. But Everything we internet say is here true. is not true. <laughs> Pretty much. Just throw our credibility out the window right now. I have a giant penis. <laughs> so that's true. <laughs> But you're a Jew. Then we all know it's half false. Jewish, half Jewish, and half Negro. Pretty much. It'd be, would that yeah, be like half a orangutan from the waist up? <laughs> exactly. The waist down. Did you put my skin color? <laughs> Instead of a blend, it's an equal half thing. It's, yeah. Up and down. I'm literally a halfling. <laughs> or, or like the left half and the right half. Picture that one. That would be awesome. Fuck. <laughs> I got nothing. For I just that. blew his mind. You did. Look at him. No, um, he's got nothing. Balloon. We haven't even played any like really different video games. Either. No, we haven't. Nothing's nothing just really came out. Uh, well, we briefly talked about Planet Side too. There is one today that Polygon actually had an awesome article about. Uh, it's called FTL. It's a sci-fi-ish type MMO for the lose. For the what? For the lose. Faster than for the light. losers. For the losers. FTL. Like FTW? faster than light, you can't go faster than light, Brett. That game yes, is bullshit. But that game is horseshit. I you call can, shenanigans. Actually, NASA is actually working on a project right now to develop the Acucerebrate drive. I thought it was the technical. Hand- the Does it run on tacos? It's the technical term for a warp drive. Does it run runs on, on Mexican food? Ooh, I like that. Um, I don't know. I I hope we've never proven that you can go faster than the speed of light. It's still a theory that you can or cannot. Although Dr. Greer would say otherwise, he'd technically like, you can. There I are, feel like you can. There is there are things that are that can be done that break the speed of light without actually breaking the speed of light. That's it. Bends time doesn't yeah. make sense. You warp space time. Continuum. With the flux mm. capacitor. Like what? You use the flux capacitor. Oh, I'm sending you an article right now. Actually. Go 88 miles per hour, and the flux capacitor kicks in. Would you learn me something, son? I'm going to learn your face right now. Please do. This is something that's actually in small-scale testing right now at NASA to prove that it works. I want to be Because once we get the first fire of it actually working... I'll send it to you. Okay. Oh, I should probably do that. Yeah, yeah send it to Andrew, too. He yeah, wants I wanna, to... I want to learn. He can. He has a computer, too. I get knowledge from the computer. <laughs> why, does, <laughs> why does iOS always... io9 always lag? Because you touch there yourself you go. too much. El okay. Cubieri drive. Sorry, I mispronounced that. All right, so learn me some of this. Talk about They are actually working on this. There's ways they've rejiggered the math because originally the math that would be required or the amount of energy required based on the math that we were originally using would require a mass energy basically equal to the planet Jupiter. So all of the energy that Jupiter has ever had to create one single warp bubble. They've rejiggered the math to, so it's actually, po- like, they redid everything and found some flaws in those equations where it's actually possible with something the size of, like, the Voyager spacecraft. You know what pisses me off? A lot of things. Is would where go on. you say it's possible, it's theorized, we think this can work. Yeah, and they're testing it right now. I mean, it's good, but I don't believe any of it. Yet. Good for you. They it's actually, actually being do done it. right now. Oh, I, I know it. They're, they're, they're they said in 1960 that we couldn't put a man on a moon, so suck my left nut. Yeah, and then he was killed by the government. I don't care about JFK. <laughs> I'm talking about fucking Buzz Aldrin and uh, yeah. Neil Armstrong. Buzz and we went a couple da, da, times da, da, more, and we haven't been back da, 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 to the moon. NBA. What the fuck is that about? That's because they found aliens, and they decided to come yeah. back. Well, Some of the like, theories like, about that. Fucking well, aliens were like, the, shit, uh, get off our shit, man. Well, that goes the, back to the Apollo missions, where they got the videos and stuff of weird stuff going off in the distance, mm-hmm. where it's, back then it's all black and white and everything, but you got the light that goes 
uh, like straight stops mm-hmm. and makes and then, a complete different direction. And then it just takes off yeah. like a straight 90 degrees the other direction. Pretty much every astronaut gone. that it, or every like astronaut, cosmonaut, whatever that's been on the space station has admitted to seeing something they can't explain while on the yeah. station. Yes. And then they there, have. there was also that one where they were in, a, where they, I think the astronauts made the mistake of not being on the secure channel. They're on the public channel. Oh, yeah. And they said something. And then next thing you know, it switched to private channel. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what they said though. I just watched it the other night. Yeah, I, I know exactly what you're talking about. But fascinating. This uh, Io9 actually did really good coverage on this, but I forgot what they compared it to. I think it was uh, the Manhattan Project, where they were talking about like the scale that they originally were testing nuclear power on, and it was uh, bar- the first like tests of it and stuff were barely enough. It was like a whopping half watt is what they said. It was what the original nuclear reactor test did. Within a year, though, they had it up to roughly four megawatts, which is enough to power a small town. So if you can get it to... 4.21 gigawatts? Yeah. Where are they doing that? Gigawatts. <laughs> uh, it's at NASA at the Johnson, not Johnson Space Center. Orlando? Uh, no, it's... Florida? In Texas. Uh, or no, JPL. It's at JPL. Okay. In Southern California, I I I don't know, I don't I don't like any I just don't trust any don't trust anything anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like it it would be cool if it actually does happen. If I would, I'd be thrilled if they can get the warp drive to work. Fucking tits! I will sign up for Starfleet right now, man. Right. But I sign don't on the dotted line. <laughs> I don't go. have hypothetical. Here you go. Here mm-hmm. you go. Are you ready for this one? Yep. Good thing you're sitting. <laughs> if they can put people on Mars, mm-hmm. I already signed up for the Mars One project. Really? Yeah. Aren't you colorblind? Doesn't matter. They're going to just kick you. They're just fucking, what color is the dirt going to be? Red. Are you sure? They're just going to fucking kick you out into space. Read the thing for it. It don't matter. Read the thing for the Mars One project. <laughs> not not that bullshit one in 2018. I'm talking about a full-fledged, like, put 500 people on the surface. You know you don't come back from that, right? Yes. Yeah, you get I'll there. I'll podcast from there. It's cool. Yeah, you get there. We can't And go then with you. something fucks no, up and you wireless, die. wireless, man. If we can get there, chances are I'll be able to communicate via Skype. Through warp space. <laughs> Skype's going to lag like a motherfucker. Uh, yeah. It lags what? now. It, it will be Sits like... there for uh, 45, 45 minutes. Seriously. It'll be like oh. ancient Egyptians and shit. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. Building the fucking pyramids. Here we go. What are we going to do? We're going to build the fucking pyramids with the tools that we have. So when people look back on this thousands of years later go what the fuck is this for we what we're going to do is when gi- carve a giant cock in these mountains here and when they zoom in with the telescope they'll know it's us yes <laughs> <laughs> well that that was actually one of the awesome things on ancient aliens they were talking about how the pyramids were likely a power like power center right it'd yes, be very hard yeah they well they've documented that because mm-hmm. like the way it's it's the, they, the chambers fu- underneath and everything yeah they found residue which is essentially the equivalent of battery acid right inside of they sealed they were, chambers they think they were literally it was literally a giant battery but they don't know what it was powering and that's a thing the spaceship that took them to <laughs> to orion <laughs> there's no evidence of that yes there is <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> there is there was your one. hair is starting to go even higher up there <laughs> my, that's the goal to I'm, to trying to, I'm trying to go too close full on too Mine, close mine's here. getting there <laughs> seriously I'm, go, I'm going full too close with my hair all this fucking ancient alien shit my hair's going too close <laughs> uh, there was another one that was like the have you seen the bigfoot one ancient aliens bigfoot I don't think I did. I've seen most of them. I don't know if I've seen that like, one. It was, I can't remember exactly because it was late at night and I was starting to get tired. Um, but they were saying that it could be, like, Bigfoot could have been, like, an experiment gone wrong for the aliens on the ship. Oh, and yeah. And they just dumped them in the woods. Yeah, I did hear that one. Oh, my God. <laughs> that, that one was ridiculous. <laughs> that one was a stretch even for me. I'm not going to lie. All of those are I like. I love entertaining them, but then sometimes you're like, oh, my God, guys. Some of them are completely ridiculous. <laughs> right. But other the ones, dinosaurs. it's like, that actually could have some credence to it. You know? The I dinosaur mean, ones are really weird because they did have dinosaurs in those, and you're like, how the fuck did they have yeah, that? Like yeah, like the, the rocks that have, like, stegosauruses, like, perfectly drawn out and stuff yeah. on it. Right. It was a like, little weird. How did you know that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, and, uh... Like some of the stuff in like the layer of rock, it there's like uh, radi- it's radioactive to some yeah. degree. So it's like, how does this happen other than like a nuclear weapon going on? You're talking about the, the one that has a glass. It has the glass that mimics a nuclear blast. Yes. At the same. In and, India. and there's slight traces of radiation. Yeah, yeah, in India, yeah. there's a place that's like 
saturated with radiation yes. and it's like the only thing that could have caused radiation on this scale is a nuclear blast like yeah. 3,000 years ago. Or an, an asteroid. Asteroids don't emit radiation like Maybe that. Maybe one had like something on it. Enriched uranium in the yeah. middle of an asteroid. Just clean uranium. <laughs> I don't yeah. think so, Tim. Very, That's why the Indians are brown, right? No, that's because they're in the, the sand and so on. Sand niggers. Oh, shit. Yes, I went there. You did go there. That's <laughs> racist. Just expect me to always go the racist route. <laughs> Done. It's, it's just an inevitability. But how did we get to this? We were talking, to what? We were talking about FTL, I think. No, no, we were talking uh, about ancient the, aliens. It's called The Opposite Sequest. of Fail, the story of FTL. It was these guys in Shanghai who started, they like went on like an extended vacation from their jobs um, and st- wor- wanted to finish a game they were working on called FTL Faster Than Light. It was like a MMO based on you have a ship and you have to maintain your ship and keep everybody alive. And it's like an exploration of the universe type thing. Their initial Kickstarter goal was ten thousand dollars. Within the first twenty four hours, they raised twenty thousand. With by the end of the campaign, they had raised two hundred thousand dollars for this campaign. What's so special about this game? It's freaking sweet from what i understand i'm actually buying it when i get uh get home it's 10 bucks on steam F- called ftl yeah what's it about uh read the article <laughs> oh i can't read um here i'll pull it up on steam or you pull it up on steam i'm pulling it up on the internets no pull it up on steam <laughs> um here let's let's just have the preview play fuck it you think we could yeah, yeah. do it it's it's a drm free game so oh really yeah Sorry, that's a little loud. Turn it down here. Alright, so we're playing this FTL game. This looks kinda gay. <laughs> it looks like a 2D version of okay, it's like a top-down shooter. It's like Command and Conquer in space. With really shooting graphics. Uh, it's, me- it's meant to be 16 feet. What are they, Minecraft in it? Minecraft's 8 bit. It's true. But 8 bit HD. I'm not a big fan. 10 bucks ain't bad though. But I, I want to get. It's only 10 bucks, I kind of want to. Oh, that's kind of cool with the rockets hitting from out. <laughs> yeah, great, great audio podcast, you guys. It is good. Shit's going on. We're not describing what's going We're on. We're describing right. a little of it. No. Go to Steam and download the trailer. Yeah, go to ftlgame.com and watch the trailer along with us. That's kind of cool. That seems pretty interesting. Yeah, um, I, I want to get it. I mean, 10 bucks. I mean, what's the worst thing? And it's available on all platforms, DRM free. You buy it and you let me know how it is. Yeah, well. It's a multi MMO, so. Um, I gave those up. I think. Yeah, that that one thing was a Photoshop for the, the Disney Star Wars because boom. that was the Jaws. Yeah. Thing. Someone, Jaws. someone tweeted me that was the Jaws thing. Who tweeted you? Um, I see nothing. <laughs> I see nothing. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist, Brett. Yes, it does. Oh shit! Oh um, God, doesn't exist. It's oh. someone who's listening to the show said that, and I think she's right. I think it did say he said not playing, now playing Jaws sequel, not Star Wars. I think someone just did that. I, no, I thought it was uh, Jaws and three D. Yeah, Jaws and three D, because then he had the, the Jaws come up. Yeah, in, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I knew it was photoshopped. Yeah. Yeah, beer. That was the other. Uh, Thank you, Melissa. Funny story. Speaking of Melissa, the random connection, that, like the random like six degrees of separation. That we experienced oh, today. Oh, yeah. The people, that's so, so crazy. Because she was so, like, hey, you know this guy? And I was like, how the fuck do you know, you know Brett? Yeah. <laughs> so this guy I work with, who's an, an analyst, a uh, research analyst on a client, went to high school slash middle school and worked at some place with a uh, pharmacy tech that Dave works with at his job. And she happened to see Brett's name. It's not that interesting of a story. To it, no, it's just I think it's cool. Just it's like well, she happened to recognize your name, random connection from from my Facebook because uh-huh. you had just liked something that I posted, and yeah. she happened to see your name, mm-hmm. and then she saw your name on on that email, and she was like, "Whoa, that's weird." And then she's like, "Do you know this guy?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you got I got your I am, and you're like, "How is 
insert so and so. name. And I was <laughs> like, what? I'm sorry. Do you, do, you, do you, I am the wrong person? Do you think I'm like sleeping with some dude? <laughs> I do. And I was like, okay, what and the, the dude is me. Yes. Yes, it is. I thought the dude was Kyle. Oh, he hasn't yeah. been on in a while. Yeah, that was really he's crazy. He's very busy. Yeah, he's been crazy busy. Well, he just bought a house. Yeah. He's getting married. He get married. Yeah. No, no biggies. I need beer. You do. You do. That sounds. You like want to go grab my beer? Problem. I got it. Um. Oh, time's flying. I like this. When you're naked. You think we should what the fuck it? You go. What do you guys think? What the fuck time? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Why not? When Brett leaves, he get <laughs> he get get beat up by uh, All right, Andrew, two you former ex wives. You took this story, so you take the uh, take the reins. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Brett's taking off his belt. Took his belt off. That's a little whack. Whoa. Yeah. Brett, please not on air. Needed to to loosen the, the belt there. I was a little full from that Chipotle burrito. Oh. All right, so is it up? Yeah. I wasn't talking about the story. No, I know you're talking about my penis. <laughs> the answer is yes. All right, so as you can see by the headline, man beaten up by his two ex-wives for marrying <laughs> the third sister. Uh, the thing that makes this the what the fuck moment is it's in Pakistan. <laughs> so, wait, man Where? beaten up by his two ex wives for marrying the third sister. Yes. Wow. So I think the the two ex wives were sisters. Like they're all sisters. And uh, yeah, it's cray cray. Uh, the story goes on to say a Pakistani man was beaten by his two former ex wives who were sisters for allegedly kidnapping and forcing. Their younger sister to marry him. Uh, the beating took place outside of the courtroom in some Pakistani place northeast of Punjab province in Pakistan. Punjabi. Punjabi, yeah. There's no I. It's just says Punjab. Punjab. It's Punjab. I th- Punjabi, though. Mm. No, there's no I. Fuck you. You racist motherfucker. Uh, where the man named Adnan was standing with his wife. Uh, the, they report just before the incident... Judge Mansoor Ahmed Khan ruled in favor of the newlyweds and disposed of appeal filed by the woman's father. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a kidnapping in this. This story yeah. is not juicy. What? Dude, what? I, it starts off saying that there was a kidnapping. Where have you been for the last two minutes? They did? Yeah. We weren't listening. A Pakistani man was beaten by his former ex-wives for allegedly kidnapping and forcing their younger sister to marry him. Holy fuck! What the fuck? <laughs> exactly. The story got way more interesting than I thought it was. Told you so. Because at first I was like, oh, this is kind of gay. But then I, then. But like, then you also got to think of where it's at and how women really have no women rights power. there. They have no, they have like no, next to no rights. Wow. There. Wow. I love this. So the, these two women say that he kidnapped the, the third sister to marry him. And in court. The judge heard the statement from the guy, and he's like, no, she married him under her own free will. And he's like, oh, oh, that's cool. That's fine. Yeah. Like, not asking her, did you marry him under your own free will? They have no say over there. They do not. Sharia law, man. Oh, my God. That is ridiculous. So basically, the judge is like, guys, is this cool? Guy's like, yeah, she's cool. And he's like, all right, you're good to go. And she's just like in the corner like, no. Why can't we be like that? No. (laughs) I don't want to be like that. (laughs) That's terrible. Now, make me a sandwich. Um, you heard him, Dakota. Go make a sandwich. That is ridiculous. That yeah, is ridiculous. told you that was a good story, motherfucker. That is a really good story. Um, You're like, no. this it does sound like a bizarre sitcom. It does. That's f- and it's fucking Pakistan is really crazy too for stuff like yeah. That, that is a what? Okay, you redeemed yourself with that's, that. What the that's fuck a, moment, a lot of uh, like the Middle Eastern countries. They don't. Like all, they don't really like divorces either, right? No. Nope. He probably still had. You're in it for life. Wives. Once you hit it, you're you're with it. Once you hit it, you can't quit. Exactly. <laughs> Unless if you're uh, oh shit, what's his name? The dictator. Never seen that movie. So never seen it. Oh. So therefore, it doesn't exist. He hates Jews. <laughs> well, it's fun. It's it, it's a shitty movie, but at the same time, it has its funny moments. I have not seen Ever that. since I saw Bruno, I refuse to see. I still have not seen that. Don't. Bruno, it's okay, but... I left the theater after 15 minutes and demanded my money back. I, I've That's because you're a bitch. I have never been offended by a movie before What we're watching life. on TV right now is fucking awesome. The, no one can see it. I'll, I'll describe it as it's happening. What happened was... 
these two climbers are climbing a ice wall, like a ice face, and with the picks and everything climbing up. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a climber uh, ahead of them, and a chunk of ice falls and knocks this climber down. He, and he has a video camera on his helmet. The guy that's falling, mm-hmm. he falls over a hundred feet, and lives. Holy shit! Like, and the whole time he's falling, it's documented. Holy shit, dude! It is fucking Do you crazy. Google Glass on? Yeah, no, right. <laughs> but it is fucking crazy. The guy, I they didn't say if any injuries or anything, but they were saying that the helmet saved his life. Whoa, that's insane. We, we have we talked about the Google Glasses yet? No, um, I think we like briefly. They mentioned did them. announce that they have a solution for people who wear prescription glasses today. At, what is at it? South by Southwest. Carve out their eyes? No, it's like a, an adapter up. to be able to fit it to your glasses. Oh yes, I want it. Right they showed a guy from Google wearing it. He was on the project. God, I would want that so bad. I cannot wait. How did it look? Did it look really funky on his glasses? No, it looked normal. Let me find oh, it. It was on the verge. Um, I go if you for those of you who don't know at home, Google glasses is like the Google glasses. If I could speak the English language, drunk. Is a I'm not even drinking. Right <laughs> I know. Is a it's uh, funny. awesome like the newest the next iPod slash iPhone idea mm-hmm. will be the Google glasses because they're going to be glasses that you wear that let you go on the internet that lets you go to websites that lets you record audio and video what is happening as seen literally through your eyes mm-hmm. because it is on your eyes puts new meaning to uh, life casting. Yes. Um, very fucking cool technology. Uh, very cool that you can, and you use, this is the one of the cool aspects of it, is you use your eyes to control it. There's specific eye movements you can what program. What do you think that's actually correct? What's that? Not correct. No, you can use your eyes to... Not correct. There, the, the, there's a side piece that connects to the... Here, I'll just send you the picture. No, because he used his eye, he looked up over at it to activate it. No, you, say, you say, okay, glass. You do, but you also have eye I movements, just, don't you? No. I do remember you do you do use a lot of voice work with it. Yeah, it's voice work, and then if you pull up the picture and stuff on here, the like the there's a piece that where like the crystal display is and the camera, and then there's a long piece that goes down the side of your head. That piece is touch sensitive, and you use that to scroll through things. I want that. I, I thought it was. I thought it was by your eyes too. Mm-hmm. Wasn't there eye commands? That's what that's what it was originally rumored. It's not the oh, case. Maybe though. I'm just a little. I do remember that a lot of it was by your voice, which is when it was not perfect, but better than. There's nothing. gestures, in fact, where you can like t- instead of having to say "Okay, glass," you can like t- tip your head up. Yeah, and it'll do it, but it's not based on eye movement. What happens if you have like a a twitch? Where you just constantly. Yeah, this? yeah, yeah. I don't know. That'd be awesome. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't it's going to cost about fifteen hundred dollars. No, no, that's the Explorer edition. That's out now that you can get in pre-order. They're saying the um, actual retail stuff, and it comes out at the end of this year. Right. Will cost much less. The prescription no glasses one, um, they said, won't be available at the initial launch. No. But um, that's less material on there. Yeah, I don't know. They said it. They'd... Oh, here's the rest of the video. Not that people could see or anything, but oh you guys can. Oh, my God. Dude, he, he fucking falls a long ways. Yeah, that's going to hurt. And he just keels over. Oh, my face. Those um, GoPros are sturdy as shit. Yeah, yeah they, they are. are. That it, I, the Google Goggles is so Glass. badass. Google, Google Goggles is an app. Google Glass is so badass. I don't even know what the fuck it's called. Um, Google Goggles so it's gonna was be the less basis than for the software. That's so badass. It's going to be less than $1,500. Um, That's awesome. That is awesome. In, in order for it to actually t- get mainstream adoption, it's going to have to be less than 5 Easily. Uh, it's very cool. It's gonna it's gonna do a lot of really really cool things, especially for surfing the internet. You can go on web pages. You can look up stuff on Google. Did you have you watched the latest video I like that they, uh, they released for it? It was um, a guy who was like on a bike or whatever, riding his bike, and the navigation was up there, like the Google oh navigation. Oh my god! Was up there. It was freaking. Think about that for your car. Like if you're driving, you just have it in the right corner of your eye. Yeah, exactly. And the cool thing is, is when they did the test on um, the Verge, he talked about like if you're looking forward, you really don't see it because it's mm-hmm. so it's yeah, just it's, out of your field of vision. Exactly. It's like, but you, you can look at it at a, at a in a brief second, mm-hmm. a millisecond. You can take a boom. Oh no, he said it's like in your field of vision, but it's not like invasive. It's not it's invasive. Like, it's, it's clear. Like, it's clear, and it's just, it looks like a little tiny LCD is floating there. You're not. It's not over overly like invasive right because that's what that's what i was worried about is that it would be this invasive 
screen and your vision and you'd be missing part of it but mm-hmm. he said it doesn't really it's jank your vision. Your he said once exactly. you get it adjusted properly it's like when you first put it on and stuff it'll look weird and stuff and you have to kind of like tinker with it to get it they made like the right one place. movement and he was like whoa oh, he's like oh my god he's like okay glass and like some of the pictures and the vi- it, it's supposed to be amazing pictures and videos and stuff right and it like you can say okay glass take hey, a video and yeah. it'll um it does 10 seconds at first but you can tap the thing on the side to keep it recording right which is so awesome. I mean, I think can think about that for like porn. No. <laughs> oh, you know it'll be used in porn. Think oh. about that like, you know, you're out and about and someone is like trying to rob somebody mm-hmm. and you're like Google glass on, yeah. you know, and you just record I'm something. Batman. Yeah. And you really record it. I got to tell you something. I'm Batman. Or like the police I'm are Batman. like harassing somebody and you see it and you're like Google glass bitches. Yeah. I got you. You can't take uh-huh. my glasses away. Um You see a drug deal go down in the corner? Because they were saying when they after they record it, doesn't it start uploading it right away? Like, can't you upload it? Yeah, it uh, syncs to your phone, and you can have it auto share to YouTube, Google Plus. So they can't Twitter, even whatever. if they take the glasses away, it's on the internet, bitches. Mm-hmm. You can't take that away. Um, and that's that, powerful tool. It's gonna be very cool for that for things like that. Or if you're at like a concert and you want to like show your friend a clip of something, or you know, the only the bad part is it's gonna be used for like movies to record them. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be used in the movie theater. Well, that's what they said. They're gonna it. If you do a lot of video, the battery dies really quickly. Okay, so you can't record. Is like, what they said, movie. and um, it's not going to be high enough quality where it would be useful. True. Or I'd worry about like if you're like a comedian, like I don't want them ruining any comedy acts, uh, like putting clips up on and stuff. Yeah. But you know that you know what I think society. Can that's sort when that they're going to put up EMPs, and you'll be ju- just be fucked. Just <laughs> no, that's when they're just. I think that they can. We can deal with that when the, we come to that. Let's get, oh, get exactly. the Google goggles, Google Glass out. Google uh, glass goggles. Google glass goggles. That's so fucking hard to say. Are they, are they your drunk goggles? They are. Okay. They make everybody look hot. Um, I kind of want to s- to save up and early adopt in those. But oh, you never I, really get, like, I the, am. You never want to get like the first no, gen you of never stuff. Do. I really they'll don't. be available at Best Buy. If they make the clip-ons for my glasses, th- that version I'll get. I, I, would, I, I will be pre-ordering that shit. Like as soon as they say pre-orders available, I'll be like, take my money. So, yeah, right. Yeah, take I, my panties. And they said that it'll have monthly updates too. Yeah, they did say that in the video. Um, I might, I might. If it's if it's about a thousand bucks, I could probably swing that. If it's think about, about how much fun it would be to podcast oh with that. God, dude. If you can do like you can do live hangouts with people. Yeah. So we can all put it on hangout, and it's like we're looking at each other. It'll be like the show right. from our perspective. How fucking cool would and that we could be? be like, they fuck could just you, see live stream. At the we're gonna camera. do yeah, <laughs> right. The, fuck you, live stream. Yeah. We're just gonna do our own thing. That's that would be so, bad so badass. badass. You forget to turn it off and you go take a piss. You look down, right? <laughs> oh, and then everybody gets scared because your dick is so big, right? <laughs> That's what happened to me. Things in object, objects in uh, in video are, <laughs> are larger than they appear. Exactly. <laughs> you exactly. put it right next to your cactus for like the make it look bigger. You've always dreamed of banging Bridget the midget. <laughs> what? It's funny they just saw that now. It's been up there like five minutes. It says about a minute ago. It's been up there for a while. What are you talking about? It may, well, well, that makes me think. Damien uh, goes. That's always something I've I've dreamed of talking about the glass. The glass. Oh yeah. And yeah. I just go. Well, I always dreamed of banging Bridge of the Midget. I mean, who wouldn't? It's a midget. Who, any midget in general. Why not? I mean, like male midget. You want to bang? Uh, too? It's no, like just um, the female ones. You can spin them like a top. It's like <laughs> that. Um, it's true. I hope they serve beer in hell. Yeah. Did you can, can you spin her like a top? <laughs> I believe there was actually Bridget the Midget in that movie. Yeah, I think it was actually. That was such a funny movie. It was I great love movie. it. He starts shitting himself in the middle of the freaking lobby. <laughs> Amazing. Bless you. Yes, the hands are pretty small. Make everything look bigger. Even Ooh. sandwiches. Mm-hmm. I think that's all we got for this week, though. Yeah. We've got on a solid time. hour and eight minutes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, Madden. Uh, Cover contest is going on right now. It just started. Who's the, who's in the running? Oh, there's a bunch. There's Jerry Rice, Joe Montana. Um, Joe Montana was a Matt Forte. Um, there's a bunch. There's like a total of 50 right now, I believe. Maybe a <laughs> little less or a little more. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, I believe it's on EA. I don't know. I just found you a bitch. Stop kicking. I just my found chair. a link through GameStop <laughs> to to vote and uh, yeah. It's in the early stages right now, and there's a lot. I know. We're recording right now, dog. Dakota's up early, so I th- yeah. I think that's about it. She's, she's like, all right, guys, it's time to wrap this shit up. Yeah, right. 
<laughs> so it's time to play, motherfuckers. <clears throat> definitely go to uh, geekify.tv and uh, click on, on it. the On It banner. Buy some shit. We get paid for it. It helps keep this shit run- rolling, running. Rolling, 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 rolling. Fuck away. Yeah. Oh. Exactly. Uh, do all that fun shit. Love this fucking song. Can't stop listening to it. It's a great song. It's again, it's Voodoo by Papa Legal. Uh, what do you guys, you guys got anything else? I got nothing. Nothing fun? All right, I'm, I'm Dave Mankoff. I'm Brad Kaminsky. Andrew Nopinski. And go fuck yourself. San, San Diego. Diego. Oh, wait. The new one comes out at the, in January. Uh, Too December. late. We're already off air. No, I'm just kidding. We're going. <laughs> Cutting the new one comes out in December. Anchorman 2. I did, I've only seen Anchorman 1. Our once. next show will be after Anchorman 2. <laughs> <laughs> when does it come out? I'm sorry. Uh, December. No shit. I, I've only seen the first one once. Yeah, it's funny. Be fucking I've, amazing. I've, I've heard seen, about we it. We and Robin watch it like once a month. It should be I'm funny. Sorry. So look for that. We got a lot of time before that. It works eighty percent of the time all the time. Exactly. The what? It works eighty percent of the time all the time. Yes. All right, bitches, we gotta go. All right, Peace. everybody. Bye. <laughs>